Welcome back guys. Here we will try to understand uh, is it possible can we do nested try catch ok which means can I write one try within other try is it possible yes it is possible so when you look at here the nested uh, try catch right you have a class called example 11 and there is a method called test 1 and there is another method called test 2 so there are two methods here this is one and this is two two methods now there is a method called test 3 right this test 3 you are writing the first line as a try block this try block okay and this try block will end here right now this try block will end here okay so in the first try block you have a method called test1 method test1 method you are writing in the test1 method then you have a one print statement so this test1 method it will call this method this first method then you have one print right then you have another try and uh, this try has test2 method okay you are calling test2 method which is nothing but this method uh, this method this method right now this method has one cache block which will handle array index out of bond exceptions right so basically when you look at this is the complete body of this try and catch okay so when there is any exceptions in this try block internal try block it will go to the catch okay and it will catch the exceptions but whenever there is any exceptions in the parent try block where it will go will it go inside right whenever there is any exceptions in your this parent try block will it go inside no it will not go it will come out from here and it will go to this catch block okay it will basically it will go to this catch block so whenever there is any exceptions in the test one method it will directly go to this arithmetic exceptions catch block but whenever there is any exceptions in the test two method first it will go to the catch first it will go to the internal catch block and if the type which you are handling here if the type is not matched then only it will go to the parent class catch block so what I'm trying to say that here is instead of array index out of bound so again go to the pro, uh, method number second what exceptions you'll get here you are performing array operations so the chances of getting array index out of bound is very high because you are performing the array operations you'll get array index out of bound exceptions in method number second let's say instead of this array index out of bond you have written here arithmetic exceptions you have written here arithmetic exceptions and assume that you have exceptions in test 2 so will it go to this catch block no because type will not match then where this arithmetic exceptions will go it will go to the parent class catch block it will come here it will come here but whenever there is any exceptions here it will always go to the parent class it will your child class will never get executed we will see that through eclipse so that we will understand very well example 11 that's what my role is to make sure that you should be able to understand okay look at here you have one line this guy can give you arithmetic because you are performing some arithmetic operations here you will get array index out of bound because you are performing operations on the array now this is first try block so when you want to see the body of the try just go here and double click go here double click this is the block uh, this is the body of first try block right you can see that and after that you have a catch this is the body of catch block now inside of that again double click this is the body of second try and there is a catch so now if i if i run this peacefully program will get executed see no exceptions in test one method and then 
array index out of bound exceptions handled what does it mean by that what it is why it is saying like this see what happened when this method call happened there was no exceptions here there was no exceptions so both the line got executed both the line got executed now it came inside try and when it called test 2 method there was exceptions at index out of bound because you have data at index 0 and you are trying to access the array at index 1 okay so you got array index out of bound so whenever you call this test 2 method exceptions came here and then it came to this catch block okay this came to this catch block and this catch block got executed after that your program is over okay once your compiler will go to the, the particular cache block now it will not come back here here it will not come back because the exceptions was handled here itself here it will never come back because it was handled here okay and this line will not get executed this line will not get executed because you have exceptions here itself so your this line will never get executed okay that is the reason when you are seeing that the output see no exceptions in test one method which is this line no exceptions in test one method then exceptions handled which means no exceptions in test two method is not getting executed this is not getting executed right now remember this output okay remember this output now do one thing to convert this to the zero let's see that what happens now you will get exceptions where you got exceptions here itself test one method when you got exceptions in the test one method your this line did not get executed your internal try did not get executed it directly came to this outer catch block and it is saying that arithmetic exceptions handled right let me show you in the debug uh, point right click debugger java application see look at here the method call happened and then you press f6 directly it will get uh, it went to the outer cache block because there was exceptions in the test one right now let's see here assume that first copy this paste it here take this from here take it here and push it this is opposite now now this method sorry this try uh, block has the handler for arithmetic exceptions and the parent try block has the handler of array index out of bound now what will happen let's see that i will correct this i will not create exceptions here i will create exceptions in test 2 so right click debug as java applications so now what will happen the exceptions will not come here press f6 this this two line will get executed it came here in test 2 then there was exceptions you will get arithmetic now will it go to this catch block no see exceptions came it directly went outside because when there is exceptions in this try block and when there is a no catch for that it will directly go to the outer catch okay it will go to the parent catch and here it will get executed right but now change the situations now so what you do here also you keep arithmetic now let's see that what will happen debug a java applications press f6 here exceptions will come see it went to this catch block because you have a handler now press f6 it will never go outside it will not it will just come out it did not go inside the catch okay now you might be wondering what if in both the catch has the same exceptions handling now what will happen even in that case it will not go to the outside catch okay because it was handled uh, within the catch block itself it will never go outside catch block see here test 2 exceptions came test 2 exceptions came because error index out of bound you are trying to access the index 1 which is not available then it will go to outside it just came here it will not go to inside that it will see come out okay that's how it works and i believe that now this concept is clear for you right now uh, same thing here this is like three try 
three catch how this will work right three try and three catch so let me explain you uh, through better eclipse itself you will understand this is like one more level where uh, just do double click here this is the body of first try okay and in outside try you have three handler one is arithmetic one is array index out of bond and then exception so when arithmetic will come it will come here when array index will come exceptions will come it will come here apart from this two apart from this two whatever runtime exceptions will come apart from this two whatever uh, exceptions you will get either runtime or compile time it will come to this exceptions because exceptions is the parent class of a runtime i mean exceptions is the parent class of your checked exceptions unchecked exceptions so it will go to the exceptions right now look at here first try body this is the body now you have one more try this is the body then third try this is the body so try to understand here what will happen here okay look at this uh, program careful you have array which means you have multiple data stored in the array and the array is of type integer double click this is the try so whenever there is exceptions here you are trying to access index number 10 which is which is not available here in this array you don't have index number 10 you have 0 1 2 4 sorry 0 1 2 3 but you are trying to access 10. Do you have handler for this in the catch block? No. You have arithmetic exceptions handler. So it will not go this, it will not go inside this catch blocks. Yes, it will not go because you don't have handler. Then it will go to one more level up. Do you have handler in this catch block? No. Here also you have arithmetic exceptions. It will not go here. Then it will go one more level up. Try. Do you have handler for arithmetic uh, array index out of bound exceptions? Yes, you have here, right? Here you have. So directly your compiler will come here. If I'll put a debug point here, okay. And now let me run the program. Right click, debug as Java applications. Sometimes we do write a nested try and catch. So press F6, sorry something happened debug a java applications proceed so take this this side yeah okay okay press f6 it came here you will get exceptions and at this point you will get the exceptions just press f6 see directly it came here directly it came here and this line will get executed and it will come out see uh, the handled uh, accepts array index out of bond handled in the main try block which is handled no problem now let's say you have handling here as well as for this try this is the body and this is the catch you have handling here also now what will happen it exceptions will come here you don't have handler for this in this catch block then it will go to the outer try and this guy has the handler so now this will get printed okay now if i run this uh, debug a java applications now now you can see that the way it will work it will be different press f6 exceptions will come here see it came to internal cache block like just one parent above now it will go inside both the line will get executed right so now it is clear for you it will try to go one by one wherever your jvm will find wherever your java uh, runtime okay sorry sorry java virtual machines whenever it will find the error handler it will hand over the error to the handler it will just hand over okay whenever it will not find the error handler then it will hand over to the default exceptions handler it will hand your exceptions and error to the default inner error handler which is done by the java runtime when you don't have here you have so it came here it got printed now when you press f6 see it will come out it will not go outside any cache block so that's how you can write multiple try multiple cache block
okay it's up to you how do you want to do that with this i'll close the video in next video i will talk about some more examples thank you guys thank you for watching this